All right, we're here in Germany at the Aero Wind Tunnel, and we have a very interesting question that I have thought about for years. I watched long ago the specialized wind tunnel video where they shaved the arms and the legs, and it was like 20 watts improvement or something like that, and then I started shaving arms and legs, and then I started asking myself, do you really think that that's legitimate? And then I've concluded mentally that it is, that's not a legitimate test whatsoever. And thus I have stopped shaving my arms and legs into races. But now we have some extra time here at the Aero Tunnel and we are going to put that question to the test. We're gonna do a baseline run as we've done all day with the hair. Then we're gonna go real quick, shave it all off, redo the test, and then to modernize the test on the nice shaved skin, we're gonna put on calf sleeves. So it'll be very interesting. You honestly have anything to add? So what is your Shabaka <laughs> How many hairs in there? From the Chewbacca, oh, one to ten, what is it? I would say I'm a five. Five on the Chewbacca scale. Chewbacca Would you say? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm like a good, maybe average hair quantity person. So it's a good generalization of a test. All right. Let's find out. I may very well after this be shaving again before races. We'll see. All right, so for this test to 250 watts, the runs are approximately five minutes, tested at zero and 10 degrees. <clears throat> the average is being weighted as two thirds, zero degrees yaw, one third, 10 degrees to give you, a, a, you know, an average yaw across, a, an average CDA across yaw angles. So in this test protocol, we'll do three runs, one as the baseline, one after I shave my arms and my legs, and then one with a pair of calf sleeves on. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, it is a joke. Because if it turns out that this is quicker, then uh, I will be doing it again. You know what you do? Oh, I forgot to I did a pretty good job, I would say. That's about as good as I would do before a race, so you can go get a shot of the hair on the bathroom floor. There we go. Let's go see what he has to say. Did you feel faster? Pardon? Did you feel faster? Oh, I'm not moving, so I'm not ready. Well, we do all the coughs and then we talk about the results. He won't tell me then? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> really? You're not going to tell him? First the block, we finish the block in, and then talking about the like results. I'm not going to influence I'm, the results I'm, I'm any. Happy. We can talk about them. Uh, how do you wear these? Like front or front? How does it feel, Lyle? The first time to ever uh, put on calf sleeves. I did put them on once. Oh, you did? Yeah, remember I did a little test and, and uh, I ran in them. I was like, ah, I don't like them. I don't like the feeling of them running, so I wouldn't wear them. I think with yeah. your calf shape, these could do a lot. Well, funny enough for me, they did. Zero. Well, I'm hoping they do zero, honestly, because I don't really want to walk around with these on. Thin calves, but also, like, I have a, a pretty good definition here. The final piece of the modernization of the arm-like hair debate is to then add 
calf guards, calf sleeves. These numbers. Are you a pro? Oh, <laughs> drum roll. Hey, you're, you might be able to bike with Magnus now. Check it out. Let's see. Are you ready, Simon? I am ready. Okay, shaved legs and arms. Yes. Give you a new CBA of two, one. No. <laughs> Come this. on. Two. No. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe that. We gotta retest that one. <laughs> yeah. We'll come back in a couple, we'll back in a couple <laughs> months. <laughs> you really, you really think that that shaving my legs and arms caused that big of a, a drop? It is huge, yeah. yeah. All right, here we are. Four weeks after the wind tunnel session, completing the shaved arms and legs video before we did a new, we re-baselined at 250 watts, and we had at this point in the testing a CDA of 0.225. Then I quickly went and shaved my arms and my legs as good as I would if I was serious about it the night before a race, and we tested again and had a CDA of 0.212. So that is approximately a gain of 13 watts from shaving my arms and legs. Then to add more credibility to the data, we then tested three sets of calf sleeves, the surpassed calf sleeves. They tested on me exactly the same, 0.212 again. Then the Castelli calf sleeves, they seem to be a little faster, but perhaps within the margins of error, 0.210. Then the Hoob calf sleeves, they tested 0.211, so that gives credibility to the data because the shaved arms and legs held for four straight runs. Then we did a final run that with a, with a helmet that we knew from previous tests to be worth around four watts in our previous tests, and that was the Met Drone. And in that run, I once again dropped another four watts down to 0 0.208, which was our best run of the entire testing process. And so for me, I've been a massive hater of shaved arms and legs, a massive skeptic. And, but having done the tests myself in the wind tunnel, in a good wind tunnel with a great team around, is it worth 13 watts? It's still, as a skeptic, really difficult for me to wrap my head around that it's worth 13 watts. But that's what our data indicated. And thus, the conclusion is I, with certainty, will shave my arms and legs before every race from here on out for as long as I race for the rest of my career. So, if you're looking for cheap free speed i guess shaving your arms and legs is the way to find it or maybe training more i don't know whatever whatever you want <laughs> whichever one's better for you i do i do have to issue a formal apology i always admit when i'm wrong d do i admit when i'm wrong yeah years later years later i admit when i'm wrong okay uh -huh. and this is one of those instances where aaron before every race is like, did you shave your arms and legs? And I'm like, no, D, I'm not doing that. So stupid. She was right. The end.